what is going on beautiful people it's your boy blue and welcome to train sim world and i have stumbled upon the most beautiful train and route combo that i have ever seen on train sim world so far as you can see this is the crimson lms jubilee steam locomotive which is making a special rare appearance in germany on the Nitterbahn route this is my first custom scenario for train sim world and you can play it yourself in the creators club the name of the scenario is enjoy the view all right let's hop in all right welcome welcome aboard i'm actually really really excited for this one you can see we already have some people on board ready for our steam rail tour today it's gonna be very very nice let's go check on first class which is right up here Oh yeah, very nice, com comfortable seating for our very, very special guest. But yeah, looking forward to this. Uh, this was a combination that I, I really just stumbled upon. I, I seriously did. I was just messing around uh, in Scenario Planner in Train Sim World 3 and was like, you know what? I wonder what this train would look like. And here we are. So let's hop up front. Train looks so good. It looks so good. And we are sitting up front, and let's go ahead and lock the doors. All right, doors are closed, and we are ready to go. Let's go ahead and release our brakes just like that. We'll put our reverser in full forward at 75 to the front. And you see our small eject is already open. I'm going to open that or close it. Sorry, no, open it. And just before we start, we'll open up the large ejector to help us release our brakes our brake gauge is right here and this version of the jubilee has an actual speedometer which is actually pretty cool a uh, bit different than the, the normal jubilee and there we are we're already rolling just like that with no power at all already rolling look at that so here we go that's about 15 percent looks good to me and we are rolling off All right, we're rolling out and getting up to speed, looking good so far. And already, man, if you just look off to our right and to our left, the view is just, I mean, I don't, I don't know if the surface is really translating, uh, but it really is. I mean, I love this route. Look at the cornfields, uh, the small little ponds, the lakes. I mean, there's literally trees as far as the eye can see. And then also a lot of this route uh, here, the Nitterbahn route, Look at that, that corn, I think that's corn. Okay, a lot of this route is actually single track. And, which means you can only have one train going through at a time, obviously. Uh, which is, you know, kind of an issue for traffic. Here's a crossing here. Sweet. Uh, but, I don't know, I feel like a lot of the single track routes are just so gorgeous because you see a lot of the trees and foliage, they grow all the way out to the track like right to the edge so massive another massive cornfield a lot of uh farming sim going on over there which would be cool if you could actually see you know an actual harvester out there harvesting the corn now i will say with this route that sadly uh if you change the seasons uh the state of the crops does not change so you basically get in here in the winter time and still see uh, some bright uh <laughs> yellow corn to harvest or wheat or whatever that is out there but i mean just look at this look at this man i mean i have not done a video yet on uh the actual nitterbahn root dlc and honestly to be completely honest with you originally i wasn't really that interested in that route i mean it's another german route uh which you know yet another german route i guess you could say that uh which i do like i like a lot of the german routes but it depends I'm more, I'm more into German high-speed routes uh, than anything else. So I just wasn't that interested. But then when I saw the preview uh, that Dovetail did of them driving through the route, I was like, oh my gosh, like they really did a great job 
such a great job on the actual route itself. And I was like, man, this is beautiful. So I was like, I gotta get it, I gotta try it. And now that I have it on my own system, on my own PC, it just looks so good. And I think what makes it look so good is the trees and the variation of trees and foliage. And like a lot of the trees that we see in this route are much different than the typical trees that we've seen in previous uh, routes on Trainstone World. And I think that's why it's so nice. Uh, the colors, the, the bark, you know, it's, it's so much about it. And I mean, we haven't even got to the, the best part of this route yet. And I already think it looks better than most. Uh, here comes another crossing right here. We'll do a honk. Oh no, that's a bridge. I thought that was a crossing, that's a little river. That's a little bit of river right there, that's cool. Here's a crossing. And a car is waiting there too. Two crossings actually. Pretty sweet, doing about 50 miles an hour. I think, pretty sure we're speeding right now. Yes, we are. The speed has dropped down to 30 miles an hour. We're okay. We'll just kind of hang out. We're just chilling. This is basically a rail tour. We are not in a hurry. We are 22 kilometers away from Stockheim, which is our final stop on this route. Uh, we may make a stop earlier just for fun to allow the, uh, the tourists and the people on the rail tour to take some photos. But uh, we'll see. Depends on how I'm feeling on my mood today. But there it is. Speed limit has jumped back up uh, to 50, 65 kilometers, I believe. And again, this is my first scenario that I have personally ever created um, and shared. And so uh, we, I'm hoping that we get green lights. We should, if I set it up right, we should get green lights the entire way. You may see some parked traffic, uh, but I was not able to get any moving traffic into this scenario. But uh, hey, if you want to go out and make your own with moving traffic, it'd be great. I would love to try it and play it. But all you need to do to run this scenario on your train sim world three is you need the uh, obviously the Nitterbun route, which is what we're on right now, and you also need the West Cornwall Steam Rail Tour. Now, if you don't have that, um, I'm not sure if it's possible to swap out with the default uh, Spirit of Steam train. I haven't actually tried that one on this route yet. I think that would probably look really good too. The difference is though, with this particular train, with the West Cornwall Steam Rail Tour train, as we start giving some more power, coming to another crossing. Oh, that one has gates too. That's cool. Uh, the difference is, for one, this one has the steam gauge, or not steam gauge, the speed speedometer, as well as it has an AWS here. And also, if you notice on the outside, if we move our camera, it's just a lot cleaner. Uh, the Steam, the Spirit of Steam version, which I, I think is really nice, and I always usually like to have, you know, old, you know, dirty, murky type of uh, uh, trains, but in this case, it's kind of a cool change to have a nice, shiny, brand, I wouldn't say brand new, there's a train right there on our right. It's not brand new, but it's kind of been redeveloped, it's been refreshed, renewed, you know what I mean? So, it's very shiny, it looks a bit different, but yeah, it's a nice change, I like it. And also, what we can also do is up here, we can click here, and click here, and then we can also click up here, and change the head plate, which I forgot to do. <laughs> so, very nice. And I will admit too, the uh, West Cornwall Steam Tour is also a, uh, a very nice DLC uh, on its own. So I do re actually recommend it. Some more cornfields on our left and right. But yeah, this, this whole route is just, man, it's so nice. Yeah, so I'm very impressed, uh, obviously, as you can tell by now, by this route, uh, just how good it looks. I mean, uh, 
I've always been kind of disappointed by some of the farmland and, and corn fields that they've had in the previous ones. So I'm really hoping that uh, every, for, with every route that comes out with Train Sim World, you kind of see advancements, small advancements here and there as you go through this real tight section here. You see small advancements when it comes to technology that Dovetail is using and their partners, uh, when it comes to the techniques that they're using uh, to, to make these routes, to make these trains. You always see small little advancements, like for example, we had the, uh, the, uh, the train announcements on that one route, which was really cool and would love to see implemented more often in the future. Uh, there's also, you know, the cornfields is something that's kind of very, very new. The way they've done the foliage in this route, I'm like, I'm really hoping that they'll take that technique and continue to use that uh, on other routes in the near future. So we're passing by a station here. We'll not be stopping here. And coming up to a tunnel. Got a little bit of brakes in because we are a bit fast. And we'll hop into the insides. Man, it is dark in here. Real dark. All right, off the brakes, we're still in the tunnel. So many sounds going on. Here we go to the mouth of the tunnel. Very nice. Very, very nice. But again, I really feel like this train just fits so well on this route. Now, I know that they probably don't drive this tra train out here in this, in this region in real life, but sometimes I'm willing to sacrifice some realism for some enjoyment, you know what I'm saying? All right, full power ahead, full speed ahead, 17 kilometers to go. All right, we are now approaching my personal favorite part of the route. And you can see off on our left and on our right, these kind of like these taller trees. As we're kind of slowing down, we're kind of going downhill, trying to manage our speed a little bit better. But it's very, it's kind of, it's so tight in here. It's hard for me to use the regular orbiting camera. Uh, to really view everything that I want to see. So we have to use this one. But you got like these, the tracks are going kind of against the, the hill here. You got these long trees, these tall trees, these barks. That looks really nice. It's mostly kind of straight through here for the most part. Still getting a few of those tr train some world stutters you may be seeing. Got power lines on the right, so this this route has not been like electrified or anything like that. So there's no overhead lines at all. Look at that little opening over there, the water. That's pretty sweet. Now I have not tried it for myself, but from what I understand, uh, look at all that. Yeah, I was hearing that uh, some of the AI trains might actually honk their horns at the crossings uh, for this route specifically. It was pretty nice. Look at that. You can see all those. How deep you can see those trees, that's pretty nice.
As I said, I seriously just, I mean, I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm just like drooling over the scenery, but I can't say enough about it. Like, it's just so good. <laughs> it really is just that good. And what's funny is, like I said earlier, I, I, I was really never that interested in this route, uh, in this particular region, in uh, the trains that are featured on this route. But what's cool with Scenario Planner uh, is that I was able to basically take the train off of the West Cornwall Steam Tour uh, route and place it onto the Nitterbahn route, create a basic scenario. And it's really nice, it's really enjoyable. Like I honestly wouldn't mind running this route uh, back and forth or even trying maybe a few other trains on this route. Uh, whether it be maybe the uh, the dirty version version of the Jubilee, or it might be I don't know some other train. I don't know what other train would look good on this route. Uh, matter of fact, I may need your help. Let me know in the comments what other train would you like to see running on this route, or have you run on this route? Uh, because it's the route is just so good. Like I, I yeah I I'm a hoping that we'll see this level of detail again scenery wise because i think this route is proof of what true hard work determination and and just passion uh what that turns into when you put that into a route i mean even stuff like the eight camera which i love to use for my flyby views i can go so far out look how far i can fly Look how far, look, look at this, I'm still going. Look how far away we are from the train. This is a shot that I want to get all the time on different routes, but usually they will limit me uh, to only maybe 100 feet away from the train, which is super annoying. Uh, and so this, even though it may not seem like a big deal, um, I'm always, it always bothers me, the, uh, the boundaries, the player boundaries and limitations that they put on us. Um, when we go to these routes, like, look at this water. This water looks pretty good, and I can get this shot right here. So, you know, that's why I called this scenario just enjoy the view, because literally it gets all about just, you know, put, get the, the train up to speed, and then get out there and just spectate. Get out there and rail fan. Get out there and, and just, you know, enjoy the view, whether it be from the inside camera or the ice, outside camera. Let's see how far we can go up this hill here on the right. We are going to have to stop here very, very soon. We're almost to our final stop and destination. I have personally enjoyed every second of this route. Oh my God, look how far we can go. This is amazing. And it still looks detailed. Where's my train at? There it is, way out there. That is so cool. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn up, shut up, and hide the UI, and we'll go ahead and park and, land, um, and uh, stop at Stockheim. Man, what a gorgeous view. I literally feel like I am driving through a postcard right now. All right, passing by one more station, and we should be the station after this. Let's get our speed down just a little bit. As I said, I'm not in a hurry at all. But yeah, I, I, I can't. I know I've said, I, I hate to repeat repeating myself, man, but I just can't, I, I can't push enough just how gorgeous this route is. I really hope this translates to the recording. Lots of crossings as well. So if you're like me, you like to lay on the horn, there's plenty of time for that. 1.4K away, we come down the final stretch. On the brakes quite hard here as we're already approaching a red light and our final stop all right had to get on the brakes real hard here we are approaching Stockheim platform one a couple more railroad crossing here we're doing about 26 kilometers an hour 
And there's our stop zone right there. And on the brakes, go ahead and dump them right there. 100% application should put us right on the marker. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stockheim. I hope you enjoyed the rail tour. We can go ahead and load our, or unload our passengers here on the left. Put the reverser into mid-gear or neutral. And we can hop out ourselves if we want to. And so this train right here, if you're not familiar, this is the train that comes with the uh, Niederbahn route DLC. This train and that blue one over there. You get those two trains. You can either run passenger routes up and down, or you can do some freight shunting in that little blue guy. But uh, I prefer the Crimson LMS. Well, guys, this has been fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the route. And again, uh, you can play this route for yourself. All you need is the uh, West Cornwall Steam Tour DLC and the Nidabon DLC. And hey, you know what? I might go ahead and make another one using the default Steam uh, Jubilee. So that way you don't have to buy the West Cornwall DLC if you don't want to. So I'll go ahead and do that after this video. But uh, let me know what you think of the scenario. I hope you enjoy it. I really have a lot. And uh, man, I am definitely going to run this back a few times myself. It's just like so much fun. But guys, until next time, remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all. You got peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video.